Hi creatives, greetings from my end, Dima here and on today's tutorial I'll be sharing with you how I made this gorgeous puff sleeve with cuffs that you can see on the screen. You can see the buttons, you can see the loops and the embellishments on the sleeve. I did this beautiful embellishment with some kind of be beautiful cords and of course applique to match with the neckline cords and applique as well. This dress is simply gorgeous and you will like to see how I made this puff sleeve. I did not illustrate the body of the dress, it's just the puff sleeve and I am very sure that you will be interested in this. But if you are interested in the body, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments and of course, I'll be sharing with you how I did it. So let's get right into it. So right now, this is my fabric, the fabric after I have finished cutting the body of the cloth, the dress. So here I'm just measuring how many yards it is and I got a yard and 21 inches. So now from this I am going to be making the puff sleeve. Now this is my basic sleeve and I'm measuring it is about 22 inches. That is regular long sleeve. Okay. Now, I always make my basic sleeve with the back sleeve pattern. But for a puff sleeve, it doesn't really matter whether it's front or back because the fullness on the cap is going to just cover up for everything. So right now, I'm going to fold the fabric like so, just as you can see me do. And I will go ahead and place the basic sleeve on it like so. Now... I am going to add fullness and of course the height of the puff sleeve here. I just measured the biceps and it gave me 7. I had to measure from the fold about 6 inches and then placed the sleeve. Okay, I measured the height as well. About 3 inches is what I added to the height and I marked and of course blended it towards the basic sleeve. You can see what I'm doing. Aside what I'm saying, just listen to me to understand everything I am doing. Now, this is how I cut it out. Now, the fullness that I left from the fold to where the sleeve pattern is kept is simply, you know, optional. It depends on how full you want it to be. If you don't want it to be too full, you can take two inches or one and a half inches is still fine okay the height here is three inches and you can see that i cut exactly 22 inches of this length i did not remove the length of the cuff from this this is because there is a sort of you know balloon like fullness on the you know um wrist area okay that's why i did not reduce the height at all now, the next thing I'm going to do is to just cut the cuff. I'll cut the cuff. And this is how I folded it, okay? I folded it so that I will cut it at once. Now, this is my around hand. This is my around hand. It's about 9 inches, okay? I just, I'm just trying to use it and show you how to measure the entrance of your cuff, okay? When it's nine, 9 inches, it simply means that what I'm marking here is 4 and a half. That is half of 9, okay? What I illustrated before measuring this is just how you're going to measure your around hand. And the length of this cuff is also about 4 and a half inches, the final length. Okay, right now I think it's 5 but i finally reduced it here yeah, to four and a half inches okay okay i'm just trying to straighten everywhere and yeah this is what i have and i've cut everything together because of the way i folded it so i have four pieces of this right here two for each cuff okay so i'm going to apply some sort of interfacing on those cuff here I'm just cutting out this part of this fabric. This is actually doll face satin, okay? I want to use it and make loops for the cuff. So this is what it looks like. And I had to trim it a bit. So measuring this, you can see what I got there. One three quarter inches, okay? Now I'll be folding it like so. This is how I'll be folding it. 
beautiful now this is how you fold yours to make your cuff okay now after folding it i'll just keep what i got aside till i'll be needing it here is the puff sleeve and i am going to reduce about one and a half inches from that edge and smoothing it towards the biceps of the sleeve yes that's just to make the cuff area to be slimmer than the rest of the body now this is the opening the opening that will be at towards the back of the sleeve and the opening here is about four and a half to five inches is fine okay so four and a half to five inches is fine for this slit on the sleeve i'll do the same thing for the second sleeve please be careful here to ensure that you made the slit at the appropriate place and this sleeve is at the midpoint of okay as i folded it like this the midpoint i'm just trimming off the one and a half inches i trimmed earlier from the other sleeve okay now you can see this sleeve is at the midpoint of this you know round wrist area of this puff sleeve okay at the midpoint just look at the midpoint and cut your sleeve there now i put a notch so that the two opening will rhyme and you can see how i'm cutting it on the opposite sides of it I'm just measuring how much I want it to be open. Be careful here so that you don't cut both sides of the of the puff or you can as well open up the puff sleeve completely so that you don't make the mistake of cutting the two sides of the sleeve. Now having done this, this is all I have got here. So you can see what i'm doing i'm trimming out about one inch that i'll be using to finish up the slits that i just made right now okay now i'll cut the second one for the two sides of the sleeve for the two sleeves okay so right now i'm going to open it up like this and see what i'm illustrating here you will place your slits like so and then stitch stitch all through then you fold it up like this and stitch okay so watch closely to see what i did i've stitched one side and i trimmed off the excess now the next thing to do is to fold it up like this and like this yes and stitch on top till you get to the end so that is it now having done that this is what i have you can see how beautiful it is looking can see how beautiful it's looking so i'll just go ahead and pinch this place about three over eight inches not really up to half and stitch it like a dart you can see how i pointed my hand i've stitched it off like a dart and that is all for that opening you just go ahead and use your iron and iron it out i'll do the same thing for the second sleeve and then i will show you the next now the next thing to do is to prepare the cuff. To prepare the cuff, we are going to place it like this. You can see that I've applied interfacing. I applied hair stay to it. And I'll be stitching the cuff as I showed you. I've stitched it and I'm notching right here. Then I'll open it like this and top stitch. Now the interfacing I used is hair stay, but I doubled it. I applied hair stay twice. Here I have applied I have ironed as well okay now the next thing to do is to use this beautiful trimming and stitch it down i just stitched it down once at the middle in lines to the level that i want it okay you can use any trimming of your choice that you can find handy so this is how i did it and this is so lovely you can see the dimensions i have i did not cover the whole cuff with the trimming okay i just left about one and a half or one one quarter inches away from where i'll be joining it to the puff sleeve now i'm just just reducing the you know height of the puff of the cuff i'm reducing the height here because i felt it was too long 
I think the final length after I must have finished stitching is about 4 inches okay remember that the length of the sleeve is 22 so by the time we add this it is really going to you know give that balloon effect on the cuff now this is how I will be placing the loops and then stitch it down I've attached the loops as you can see and I'll flip it over like this and of course stitch it down like so on the two sides here I'm just trimming off any excess that is at that you know point so right here I'm just using my scissors carefully please so that it doesn't poke your fabric it doesn't open up your fabric so right here I'm placing this in you know appropriately I will start from that opening and I am going to close up this place first now the first thing to do is to close up the side then continue okay so I've closed up that side already and I have stitched the upper part of this cuff now this is what the cuff looks like okay this is what it looks like and it will have buttons on the opposite side the same with this one i've applied the applique on top of the trimmings you can see how beautiful it's looking so rich and gorgeous so now the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the cuff to the puff sleeve watch closely to see what i'm doing aside from what i'm saying watch closely to see what i am doing is really an easy one and a really gorgeous dress so right here i'm going to start on this slit and form gather on the puff sleeve and stitch it around now i'm going to form gather stitch on the puff sleeve i'll form the gather and ensure it is the measurement of the cuff okay now this is my needle and thread and i'll be using it to put a running stitch make a running stitch all through the place so that i'll form a gather now when i drag it i'm going to drag it to be exactly the length of the sport sleeve and this is what i have here I've gotten the length I'll just go ahead and knot this edge so that it doesn't move I doubled the thread on this um, needle so that it doesn't cut easily okay so having done that I will also do the same for the second sleeve okay I'll just go ahead and make the running stitch all through with my needle and thread and of course knot it as I did for the first one now this gather has you know brought the hem of the puff sleeve to exactly the measurement of the cuff okay that is the idea and right now i'm going to hold the cuff like this and stitch all through ensure that you place it well in a way that the loops overlaps to button up i know if you understand what i mean so now i've stitched this down and i weaved and had to you know push it towards the cuff and stitch it down that is what i did here you can see the puff looking very gorgeous you can see the cuff everything is looking so beautiful i'll go ahead and you know fix the buttons for this and of course join or sew the puff sleeve to the gown okay so right now this is the gown as i said if you want to see a tutorial on how i made this gown do not hesitate to tell me in the comments but i feel you will easily know that but then if you have any question about it you can ask i'll put the button here that is just how the back is i just allowed an opening there with the with another loop at the back now this is how i'm going to fix the puff sleeve and make my puff like so and fix it to the armhole of the dress and that will be all now you can see the gorgeous puff sleeve you can see how lovely it's looking you just go ahead and put the buttons and yes 
that will be it i'll just have to iron up everywhere that needs to be ironed and then hang the clothes on the mannequin for you to see the final results now you can see how it is matching with the applique on the neck and even the trimming is also on the neck this is so rich and gorgeous trust me now having made this gown this is what we got you can see how gorgeous it's looking if you see it on my client it's even more more beautiful and i trust that you are going to try this let me know what you got in the comments let me know what your results are okay you can apply this on different clothes it doesn't have to be a flake gown like this you can apply it on a top you can apply it on different clothing just be creative be stylish and just create your own styles with this very beautiful cuff puff sleeve okay try it and thank me later you can see how lovely it is looking and yes this is how lovely it is this is the cuff and i'm just trying to show you exactly what it looks like do well to subscribe guys i do not take your support for granted i love you all always 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 do not fail to subscribe and turn on, and turn on your notification bell so that you will be the first to know each time i upload my videos yes and this is the end of this beautiful tutorial and of course i will see you in my next one trust it to be a mind-blowing tutorial as usual love you all bye